Hello developers, welcome back. Next in Laravel Eloquent Relationship series, we will see polymorphic relationship. When it comes to polyformism, it sounds like it's very complicated. But don't worry, Laravel has made it very easy. In Laravel, we have three types of polyformic relationship. These are one-to-one, one-to-many and many-to-many -many relationships. Today in this video, we will see one-to-one -one and one-to-many polymorphic relation and in the next video, we will see many-to-many -many polymorphic relationship. Before moving ahead, make sure to subscribe the channel and press bell icon so when I upload new videos, you get notified. So now, let's start with one-to-many polymorphic relation. Let's say we have a post model and video model and now a user can add comments to both post and video. So how you can implement comment relation in post and video? One solution is that you will create a new model post comment for comments in the post and video comment for the comments for video model. Sure enough this is one solution but in this solution you will see lots of repetition of code and you have to put little more efforts to maintain the code base. Instead of creating two separate comment model for both video and post, we will create one comment model that will be shared with both video and post model. Now how this post and video will share this comment? The one way is that this comment model will contain post ID column and video ID column and this column will identify that particular comment is related to post or video. It is okay for this small scale application but as application will grow it is not ideal solution. For example let's say in future the application required to add new model let's say podcast. So now for the podcast model we will need to add one more column podcast id to maintain the comments for the podcast model as well. So this is also not a good solution. So what is the ideal solution to create a relationship between this comment and these models? So for that in this comment model we will add commentable id and commentable type. In this commentable id it will store the id of the model and this commentable type will store the type of model. For example, in case of post comment, it will store the post ID, let's say post ID 1 and here it will store the commentable type post model. Using this way, we can easily create relationship between these model and the comment. And in case in the future, you have to add one more model, for example, let's say event. Now we don't have to modify the table structure. We just drop in the comment relationship and then it is ready to use. Now let's implement this. In the previous video we have already created the post model. So next I will create video model. So in the here I will create php artisan make model video and migration. Next here I will create comment model. Now in the database migrations. Here we have video migration and here I'll add table string title. Next in the comments migration here I'll add table text body and table big integer commentable id and table string commentable type. Instead of adding these two lines, here we can add table morphs and then commentable. This morphs method will create these two columns commentable id and commentable type. This comment also associated with the user. So here I will also add table big integer user id. Next let's run the migration php artisan migrate fresh now in the database we have post table video table and comments table 
and in this comments table we have commentable type and commentable id now let's implement the relationship so first let's close all of these and in the post model here i'll create method comments and it will return dollar this more many and then the model name comment class and next parameter is the identifier that is this commentable right here similarly we can create same method in the video model that's it next in the comment model here i'll create method here the method name is commentable this commentable can be post or video and next here i'll return dollar this morph2 this morph2 in term of polymorphism is one to many relationship so this command can belongs to only one post or video and both post and video can have many commands now let's see how we can retrieve the relationship first first let's set the guarded empty array same in the video model next in the routes web.php now here let's remove this and in this route here i'll say first here i'll create a user and here i'll pass let's say name is harish and email is harish at example.com password is hash make password next i'll create post so dollar post is equal to post create method and here i'll pass let's say user id dollar user id and title is example post title next to create a command for this post here i can say dollar post variable and then we can access commands method and then we can call create method and in this create method first i will pass user id for this command dollar user id and then here i'll pass comment body let's say comment body is comment for post it's done here now let's go to browser and refresh now it should have created the records in the database in the posts model we have a example post and in the comments you can see here we have a comment and in the commentable type you can see it has stored the post model and here commentable id is the post id now let's see how we can retrieve this comment using post model so first here i'll fetch post post find where id is 1 and next here i'll dump dollar post commands now let's go to browser and refresh and this will give us the collection of commands right now we have only one command if you see here it is this commentable type contain the post model and commentable id is the post id here we can add more commands to this post so here we can say dollar post commands and create say user id is 1 and body is second comment for post now let's go to browser and refresh now we have collection of two commands and in the comments table we have two records now let's add comments for video model as well so first let's create the video record so dollar video is equal to video model and create 
here i'll pass title example video title and next here we'll say video comments create let's say user id is one and and comment body is comment for video now in the browser refresh now it should have created the records in the database and refresh and this comment record is for the video here commentable type is app video model and one is the video id next let's retrieve the comment using video model so here dollar video is equal to video model find where id is one and let's dump the dollar video comments refresh it should give the collection of one comment here it is comment for video next in the comment model we have also added this commentable method using this method we can retrieve the commentable model let's see so here let's fetch the first comment comment model and let's fetch the first comment here i will dump dollar comment and then we will call comment table now let's go to browser and refresh and it has given the post model similarly here the third post id belongs to video so let's fetch the third comment and now let's go to browser refresh and it should give the video model now maybe you don't want the name commentable here instead you want to fetch the commentable models with subject property so how you can implement this so in the comment model instead of this commentable here i will say subject and in this morph to method here i'll pass the identifier commentable now if we go to browser it should work and it should give us the video model and it is working similarly for the comment one it should give post model here we go now this is the example of one to many relationship where a post or video may have many comments and a comment can belong to either post or video similarly we can also create one to one relationship in the post model here i'll create a new method comment and it will return dollar this morph one and then here we pass the comment model and then identifier that is commentable that's all we need here now this morph many will give us the collection of comments and this comment will give us the single comment object same thing we will paste right here in the video now in the web route here i'll say dollar post is equal to post find id1 and let's dump dollar post comment and this will give us the single comment object and the comments method will give us collection of comments here in this method we can also say latest so it will give us the latest comment on this post model so here i'll say dollar post comment and now refresh now here we can see the comment model and this comment id is g2 which is the latest command for this post similarly we can also fetch command for the video so dollar video is equal to video find one and let's dump dollar video comment now let's go browser refresh and here is the command for the video this is the end of this lesson in the next lesson we will see many to many polymorphic relationships if you like the tutorial hit the like button share this video and don't forget to subscribe us see you in the next lesson mm -hmm.